Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is your host, Andres Jose Salazar. I'm very excited today to talk to you about Jason Sean Alexander. Um, this is a great artist that I just uh, discovered recently, actually. This uh, is one of the books he created by Image Comics. This is the first volume of Empty Zone. This was first published in 2015, so it's a little older, but my gosh, I really was um, enthralled by it. I just want to share it with you guys. First off, a little order of business. I want to thank all the Patreons and people who have been supporting me through Patreon, my own comic, Shangri-La, and uh, Boaz, and some of the other books that I've been doing, like um, Calexico, Nagual, um, Prime Missouri. Thanks a lot for supporting those books. It means a lot to me, and for getting uh, the support to kind of like support this channel and uh, determine what books I create. So. Join the Patreon, you get to kind of like be a part of what I'm going to talk about. So that's kind of fun. So thanks a lot for supporting me on that. Um, hope everybody doing is good during the pandemic and this um, just insane time. It is, um, it's just crazy and it it's just a scary time. So in these crazy times, I hunker down with some books and I actually have a stack of books. <laughs> I got a stack of books I got to read. I got to go through, um, I'm getting more and more into them, believe it or not, if that can be possible. So, a lot of it, my own education, and to share with you guys. So let's talk about Jason, Sean Alexander. Um, I'm really going to talk more about the visual style than the story. I think the story's fine. It's kind of like a, um, you know, uh, cyberpunk type of story with, uh, you know, the main character having some abilities with technology and things like that but I want to talk about the style um, his painting and his work r reminds me a lot of people like uh, Kent Williams who is a great painter it kind of like straddles that line of the fine art and commercial art stuff and, it, it, and Ashley Wood a little bit of that too um, some great expressive work here and he does a great kind of expressive, like abstract backgrounds and and in the figure work. So uh, a lot of this is with oils and mixed media, and uh, yeah, just I love the cover. I think it's really well done. I like the face. I like the the kind of like depth of the face and the blacks here, and uh, just putting you know this red here with the blue shows a lot of great skill you know he's not just putting um he's just putting a lot of different colors and layers and um i like that a lot actually and it kind of shows a lot of skills here this guy's has trained he's studied art you know and he's done this isn't his first painting you can just tell uh so really big friend of really big fan of that cover let's kind of dive into it so jason sean alexander he's the creator he's the writer he's the artist and then uh, he's got this guy, Luis NCT. I don't know what that stands for, but he's the colorist. So I'm really curious about the coloring because I assume he did it mostly himself, but it looks like he's probably just doing black and whites and then Luis is digitally coloring it, I would, I would say. Um, there's a lettering guy, story editor. You know, Image doesn't have editors in-house, so generally a creator at Image has to hire their own editors which I find kind of fascinating um okay let's just take a look at some of this stuff great great uh look is my big head gonna be in the camera I don't want that to happen um I really like just the layout of the stuff I like his line work I'm assuming this is not digital but there are a couple moments I think I saw like maybe it's digital I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's not. It could be though, I could be freaking wrong. Nowadays with technology, it's really hard to tell because there's so many things you can do digitally that mimic pen and paper so well. But I think this could be the real deal. Um, I'm not a huge fan of color holds. You know, you could tell that the artist, the colorist, Luis, uh, got the blacks and then just kind of like color held them all to kind of a, a dark brown not a fan of that generally but I think it works here 
and I've actually been tinkering with my own work, so I'm coming around to it, but I'd rather have blocks like this. This is just great stuff. I mean, he might have used uh, models, he probably did, but even with the models and stuff, he really creates a lot of great uh, abstract, or, or not abstract, but more expression here that I really enjoy. Um, and there's some watercolor bits too that I noticed that he would do with the coloring. So it makes me think maybe Luis did some watercolors. I don't know. Again, it's hard to tell. Uh, a lot of texture. Again, he, Jason, and if you see some of his other work, it's got that too. But he, in his ink work, he's putting a lot of spatter, a lot of texture. And it gives you a real sense of that gritty you know, that real grit, that real grimy, dirty stuff. Sometimes you can overdo it, but I think this works. Gene Ha does it well too. He did it well with the uh, top 10. Yeah, so I really dig also the modeling of that leg for some reason. I just really like the way that's done with like a dry brush. He's using a lot of dry brush here too. So, and this is airbrushed, you know. So that's kind of fun. So you're seeing a lot of different tools he's using for this. Some dry brush here, some airbrush, some white out. He's using white out there for that rim light. Um, a lot of different kind of tools and techniques. This is white out, you know, you can tell. So yeah, this is on paper. Now this is all kind of watercolored. I'd be curious, I think he just did gray tones. He just did like washes. So he did ink washes on these bodies. And then I think Luis just went in and digitally, digitally put a little bit of tone on there. But I like the washes too. This is just a lot of fun to kind of see the different techniques and things that he's doing to it. That's just to me really cool. Um, yeah, I think this is definitely a book to kind of get to study, you know? I like this a lot. Again, not a huge fan of all these like effects, lighting effects, but I think it really works here uh, with the light, the different um, things like all these little mirrors and, and, and windows and things like that. So I actually dig that a lot. Um, let's talk about the color for a minute because the coloring actually is pretty well done now that I look at it even further. Um, you can see, you know, his palette here, this scene is pretty minimal, you know. He's using oranges, reds, you know, these are all warm colors and white backgrounds, a lot of white backgrounds. And it works really well. Yeah. Very minimal, very little coloring. Yeah, this whole thing is still the same palette, the same reds, reds and browns, some oranges, yellows. Then it switches over to this kind of blue at night. I did a lot of that in Pariah. Pariah was like night was blue and day was was burnt sienna. Again, I, what I liked about this too, this kind of like work, um, I do like that they kind of show like the paintings of the covers. Those are fun. These are pretty big. 30 by 40 is pretty big size. So he's working in a pretty, pretty good size like that. Yeah, you can tell he's got a lot of like fine art kind of teaching. What I like about this reference stuff, this reference-like things, is that he makes it to where it doesn't look reference. He's not breaking out rulers and really making it super clean. He does keep it organic. He keeps it, you know, he used the reference for probably just the general shape, but then he goes in here and he really kind of like puts a lot of expressive line and texture onto it. I think that's important, um, at least for the style. The page layouts are pretty good too. You've got, um, you got like 12 panels here. 
some that are opened up, bleed out through, then kind of these close to end bits. Um, then a wide shot close up to her. Boom, boom, boom. Then this little action. I like this too, how the body separates out these images. I thought that was kind of neat. Here, here, and here. The sky is the same. There's no panel border there. I like that. That was kind of cool. And then there's this kind of more of a painted, painted page. And it goes back to ink. That's a nice image there. I'm not sure if I like that graded um, color background, but I do like that figure. And we've got some warping tools he's using here. That's really nice. I like this a lot. That's high contrast. That's neat. I, I like anytime you're incorporating like music and colors and things like that to the uh, story. So yeah, I think this is really top notch. Yeah, look at this here. This this kind of gives you that feeling of remember the uh, Simon Beasley stuff that he used to do, like slaying the Horn God and things like that. The painted Beasley. You can kind of see a little bit of that kind of that layered modeling and and uh, s spatter and detail to get these figures. I really liked it a lot. I think this is where he sings. This stuff is good, don't get me wrong. This stuff is great. This like quick stuff, but this I think is really where it like really shows his chops. You know, this is just kind of fun kinetic quick stuff. He probably bangs it out a lot quicker. But this is great, great character stuff. I really like this, this one. This is a great image. Yeah. That's a that's a fun fun painting. So, um, again, the story is future. She's kind of like a bounty hunter type of a character who's um, has this ability with technology. She's tracking somebody down for a job. You know, it's it's got a kind of that thriller element to it, and yet these like these experiments on people are um, kind of taking them taking them to the next level of pain and there's like a, a spirituality element to it but I went to the whole thing but I just yeah I thought this was a really good book I really enjoyed it and I wanted to share this with you I think that he's got some great imagery some great panels great pages the layout the design um, these are the, this is the type of guy you'd want to see more of, but you just don't because it takes him probably a while to do it, and he's got other priorities, and he probably could maybe make more doing fine art or gallery shows or paintings or things like that. So, so you know, this might be more of a labor of love than anything. I'm speculating on all that, but I think it's great. I love to sit down and chat with them. Um, He's, he's he's really good. So there you go. That's my quick video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, check out all my other videos going on. Subscribe, hit the link button, the like, and all that jazz. And uh, hope you have a great week. Thanks.